cost hierarchy students. Under activity based costing, we have something called cost hierarchies. What do you mean by cost hierarchies? <clears throat> they are the categories of activities. Now, for example, the unit level activities which are performed for each unit that is produced. What does that mean? These costs will go up as the number of units go up. For example, a simple thing is the material cost. So, the more number of units, if suppose, suppose one unit consumes uh, 5 pounds of a particular material, 5 units will consume 25 units of that material. So, that, those are called unit level activities. Activities whereby the cost, the resources which, which, which for <clears throat> the, 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 the resources which are consumed, uh, consumed, change, increase or decrease as per the number of units produced. They, these are called unit level activities and all direct costs are unit level activities. Similarly, there are batch level activities which are undertaken for each batch. Suppose I dispatch, always I dispatch 50 units. There is a consignment of 50 units that I always send. Right? What are the costs for sending of this 50 units? So each cost of sending, that consignment of sending, preparing the invoice, arranging for the transport, the transport cost, all these costs together is consignment of 50 units. So if every these costs change with every consignment of 50 units for every batch. Just like we saw, remember the setup cost that we saw in the previous example, where, uh, where depending on the number of setups, the costs change. The activities which are taken for each batch like a setup activity. <clears throat> These increase with the number of batches irrespective of the number of units in the batch. That may be a different issue but it changes with the number of batches. Clear? Product sustaining activities. Activities for one type of product irrespective of the number of units or number of batches. Let us say we, we, we trade in certain uh, <clears throat> consumer durables, in certain goods, maybe in certain, let's say, washing machines. Um, our, company, our company deals with LG company. We deal in washing machines, dishwashers, refrigerators. Let's take only three items, right? Now, we might... Uh, take out an advertisement for only refrigerators. So though we make three kinds of products, three kinds of product, the advertising cost is only for the refrigerator, not for the air conditioners, not for the dishwashers, not for the washing machines, yes or no. So those costs will be related to only that product, which product? The refrigerator. How many units of the refrigerator we make? That is a different issue. Are you following students? Product sustaining costs are activities for a particular type of product irrespective of the number of units or batches. Right? The costs incurred for only one product may be a design cost, advertising cost, etc. And then you have facility sustaining activities which support the entire facility. Like I said, security of the entire place. Yes or no, these frankly cannot be properly allocated. There may be, there may not be a cause and effect relationship. They lack a cause and effect relationship between the cost and the allocation base. Between the cost and the allocation base. Followed? So these are the different, what is called cost hierarchies. Unit level, <clears throat> unit level, batch level, product level and facility level. Unit level activity, batch level activity, product sustaining activity and facility sustaining activity. <clears throat> Let us take an example students. This is a hostel where there are 100 fun loving students. Okay, so one night they decide to have a, a, a cultural evening. So, in order to have this cultural evening, four programs have been set up and the students have to select any one of the four programs. So, the cost for all the four programs may be different. Do you understand? So, one of them, the first program is instrumental music. Another one is, let's say, a vocal concert. A third is a dance program. And the fourth maybe is a play. So, what are we doing now? We have 100 students in a hostel and a cultural evening is being organized for them. For them. And the, for the cultural evening, there are four shows. The instrumental music, vocal music, a dance program and a play. 
play we will try to find out the cost which is being incurred per student for these different programs followed a very simple way of understanding now when we look at the cost we see that the cost for each of these concerts is different the instrumental music costs only ten dollars per ticket for the vocal music it's fifteen dollars for the dance it is twelve dollars and for the play it's also twelve dollars suppose so that's one cost you have cost of ticket you realize this is per person that there will be a change in the ticket this is something like can i say per person it is changing therefore can i say it's a unit level activity that's right next I take the cost per vehicle. To take them from the hostel to the place, a vehicle has to be arranged and a vehicle can take only five people, five persons. Therefore, uh, and the cost for one vehicle to take five persons would be $50. Promotion expenses are for the instru uh, instrumental music only. So it was largely believed that uh, this instrumental music, many people are not really very interested and they wanted to promote this particular, uh, this particular program and they spent $100 promotion expenses for only instrumental music. Vocal concert students were interested on their own. It was not done. The play people were interested. But for instrumental music, the coordinator, the people organizing the program felt the need to promote and promotion expenses of $100 were spent. And let us say the program coordinator for all his work, <coughs> the program coordinator for all his work needed to be paid another $200. There were different expenses. <clears throat> so together the, the amount paid to the program coordinator let us say was $200. Are you getting the picture? Now the ticket costs are different right? So so similarly promotion expenses were only for instrumental music. So we'll have to find out the cost for each of these separate, separate uh, programs. Okay so let's do that now. <coughs> $10, $15, $12 and $12 is the price per ticket. Number of students is 20, 30, 25 and 25. So the total 100 students, the more maximum number of students wanted to go for the vocal music program. Uh, dance, 25 of them opted for the play 25. And after all the promotion, there were 20 students who opted for the instrumental music program. So what is the ticket cost for instrumental music 200 you have to pay 10 dollars sorry 20 into 10 dollars 200 dollars 30 into 15 dollars per ticket so 450 uh, 25 uh, students into 12 300 and for the play also 300 the total ticket cost is 1250 you know the ticket cost for instrumental music vocal music the dance program and the play. Next, what about the vehicles? The number of vehicles, the number of vehicles because there were 20 students, 5 students in a vehicle. I needed 4 vehicles for 30 students, 6, 25, 5, 25, 5. Yes or no? These are the uh, number of vehicles I needed. For the instrumental music, I needed only 4 vehicles, 50 per vehicle, $200. Six vehicles, three hundred dollars. Five vehicles for the dance program, fifty dollars. Therefore, two fifty. Another five <coughs> vehicles for the play. Therefore, two fifty. So the total base, uh, total vehicle cost was dollars one thousand dollars. Right now, can I say this is unit level? It changes per ticket per person. This changes for every five persons. This is a batch. So the more number of batches it's not individual actually it's a batch level the fifty dollars is for every vehicle consisting of a batch of five here in this particular case the batch size is the same in some instances in production and manufacturing the batch size may not be the same what are the costs for their students there were the cost of advertising right advertising cost and there was the coordinator cost <clears throat> So, the promotion is only here, there is none here, none here, none here, $100 promotion only for instrumental music. Then there is the coordination cost. 
the coordination cost or the uh, <coughs> this total cost this totally was 200 how to how to apportion this i do not know how to apportion it we decided there are four programs let's just allocate it equally because you have the coordination activity is for all the four programs right it's difficult they have not coordinated anything more for any particular concert and they think it is reasonable to allocate it uh, equally now when you look at the total cost total cost is 550 for instrumental music 800 for vocal music 600 for the dance program and 600 for the play divided by the number of students you get cost per student for instrumental music came to 28 for vocal music it came to 27 24 for the dance and 24 for the play <coughs> Can I say, this is a product sustaining only for one product. This is facility sustaining for all the four programs. Do you understand students, these could well have been four different products where you had unit level cost, batch level cost, a product sustaining cost and a facility sustaining cost. Is it clear? And based on that, we have arrived at the cost per student for each of these programs separately. That is what activity-based costing does to us. Follow? A small exercise. Identify the cost hierarchy category of the following activities, unit batch, product sustaining or facility sustaining activities. Come on students, take two minutes quickly. Machine setup cost, administration cost, Costs of designing a product, property taxes, direct material and product advertising. Take a minute to think whether they are unit level, batch level, product sustaining or facility sustaining. Yes or no students, what do you say? Machine setup cost, setup, setup is normally for a batch, so that's a batch level activity, a hierarchy if you ask, batch level activity, administration cost, a facility sustaining cost, designing a product for the entire product irrespective of the number of units or the number of batches, product sustaining, the property, property taxes should be facility sustaining, yes or no? And then, direct material, unit level, it changes according to the number of, number of units. Product advertising, again, is for the particular product. So, that's also product sustaining. Clear? Yeah. 